Welcome to Footprint. My name is Samuel Akamenta. It's not every time that we get a chance to have a conversation with such great. I mean, for this platform, we've had um, people who have done things for the country, who have done things for themselves, who have done things in their lives worthy of emulating. But a champion of champions, somebody at this level, I'm not so sure. We'll take a short break when we come back. The champion. Yes, yes, nice to see you. It's a long time. Professor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so the last time I saw um, you was in, in, in your house, is that right? Uh, where yeah. Akokashi is? Yes, yeah. yes, Choco. In Choco. Yes. Is that where you live as well? Yeah, I live there. I live, you know, I live in the Canada both place. place, yes. Yeah, and, and, and you, you had a relationship with Atokashi. Yes. Um, yes, my. My father's side. Oh, okay. Uh, so you are, you are, you are related, Profa. Uh, wow. So your father's side is a, is a Nelson people, I guess. Yes, yes, Nelson people. I think maybe the 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 the, the mother side. Oh, uh, okay. You know, so you know, so your father's father's side is the born people. Uh, yes. And the mother side is the Choco uh, people. Uh, yeah. No, how is, how is life in Choco? Uh, you know, tough. It's tough. You know, uh, it's tough. I mean. Uh, you have to be tough before. But did you grow up there? Uh, no, I grew up at uh, in uh, what do you call it? Uh, Bukon Small and Accra Small and Mamprobi Small. Oh, uh, Mamprobi will be later. Yes. When he started yes, yes, yes. Wow. Yes. So I'm talking to Azuma Zoom Zoom Nelson, the professor. No, I'm so happy I, I even forgot to mention his name. <laughs> there, forgive me. Azuma, so how have you been? You just turned 65. Mm. By his grace. By his grace. Wow. Mm. Because, you, look, you, you, you can pass for a 40-year-old. Mm. I, I believe so. Because, uh, you see, I, I, the way I feel inside yeah. me, yeah. you know, I feel like, I feel like a 30 years old young boy you know mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, because when i go to the bag and i'm hitting the bag and you are standing there you say hey are you sure 65 that you still uh, hit the bag I'll, I'll invite you to come and see no i want uh, to hit the bag oh come let me come uh, uh, come i'll <laughs> I'll break it for you. <laughs> I'll break it down. Charlie, as says that will help me break down the Muslim. Because we are Muslims. Is that easy? Oh, great. So, you were born in Accra, I guess. Mm -hmm. Which part mm -hmm. of Accra? Um, Tima Market. Amamu. 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 Amamu, mm. Aledio, uh, area. Uh, area. Which part uh. of Timo Market? That's my, that's my place as well. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Timo Market, where Timo Market we are talking oh, about. Inside, the Timo inside. Market inside. It, yes. That's very close, uh, yes. man. Yeah, uh. So you have the Amamu when you enter the place like that. Uh, yes. Leading to the Timber Market. Uh -huh. You yeah. have the, the, the street. Before you cross the last street to the, uh, to the Timo Market. Gate. To the market. Yes. That, we, we, that's our house. Uh, that's house. I think. That's house. You know, uh, it, it depends where you, you can coming come from. From, where you coming from. Okay. You remember where Kim Bruce used to be? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. We are on that line. On down. that straight line. Yes. Where these Soya people used to be. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, some, I'm an area boy. So. Some, yes, I can see that. I can see oh, that. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. So you grew up there. Uh -huh. it's, it's amazing how we never well, were, were young. So uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Really, you, when you popped up I mean, on the scene proper, that's when we started. Uh, yeah, you know, in, in in our time, you know, you it's like you 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 don't got to know me because you are not among the uh, actual chairman. No, you know. five. We the cobolos that we are there are and inside. then doing what we have to inside. do. The uh, survivors. Yes, yes. Mm, they used mm, to be on the other mm, side. Other side. Yeah, yeah. Ola Williams. Uh, 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 they are top there. Uh, uh, look, uh, look uh, I'm so happy. Uh, but I'll, th I'll take my time. People, just, yeah. just bear with me. Okay. <laughs> so, did you do any schooling in that area? Yeah. Uh, uh, 
No, I, 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 I did small at uh, Maplobi. Oh, inside Maplobi. Mm. You remember the school? Yeah, Maplobi, St. Pei 1 and St. Oh, yeah. St. Pei 1, St. Pei 2. It was a very good school. Yeah. It was a very good school. Yeah. Before all those international schools popped up mm. along the and beaches, along the run. Yeah, mm. Radiant Way and all those people. Mm. <laughs> no, we were following you. Uh, 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 uh. So you did school, you know, elementary school mm. and up to which level? You know, um, in my school time, I wake up in the morning, I have to go and get some coconut down mm -hmm. so that uh, when I come back from school, I have to go and sell it, uh, you know. So uh, uh, anytime, I, anytime I go to school, I'll, I'm sleeping, <laughs> you know, because I'm so tired that uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> then the, the, the teacher will tell me, hey, call me your father, you know. I was like from two or something, they called me your father. Then I'll go and tell my father that my teacher said he wants to see you. <laughs> Sometimes when he comes, the teacher will tell me, your son I was sleeping. Yeah, you know, so. sleeping. You know, but my father didn't mind because he knows, he knows what I'm going it. through. Yeah. You know. So it, it, it got to a time the teacher said, go and call me your father. I said, teacher, school, I'll give it to you, take it. You know. <laughs> You know, I dashed the school to the teachers, and then I left. You know. Where were you getting the coconut from? From the shore? I I go and buy. Oh, you oh you buy? Yeah, and I sell. Oh, so you you, know. you, after school they go and sell. Yes, you know I'm a businessman from my, from my infancy. That's quite. <laughs> 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 All right. So growing up, you have siblings. You have yes, brothers. yes, yes, and I'm the senior. Yeah, I'm the elder, so I have to make sure things are... Yeah, uh, yeah. typical. Uh, uh, yeah. Everybody depends on you. Yeah, so but when you call them to come and work for you, they'll run away. <laughs> <laughs> so, so mm. how many siblings did you have? Uh, uh, six of them. Uh, my, I'm the first one, then second one. Second one was like five years or six years when... Uh, He's eating, and he's, he's, he was eating rice, and the rice finished. And he said he said he needed more, and they brought him more, and then he choked him. That's how he died. It's a surprise, that, you know. That's how oh, wow. he died. So that young, that young, you know. So and then my another brother came, you know. He too, he he died. Almost a year, a year ago. Oh, mm. Just one year. Yeah, just one year ago, and and then my sister, and then another sister. We are three boys and the three sisters, you know, from my from my 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 mother's side, you know. Yes, and my father's side, you know. As a man, you have to prove that you are a man. You oh, know? Okay, so uh, he yeah. did. Yeah, so he did. You know, so we have a couple. He had offspring ah, in got, different places. Uh -huh. Because it's a man. He was multiplied on and the surface what, of the uh, earth. Uh, because that, that's what the Bible says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's interesting. <laughs> no, so at, after school, you had to leave the school for the teacher to take the school. To to take, uh, uh, um, at the time you were leaving school, did you have an idea what you wanted to do? Yes, I was... I was into the boxing. You have started. Uh, I have started. Even in elementary school. Uh, yes, I have started. How old were you then? Oh, I, I started the boxing when I was like I think Eleven, eight, nine. Uh, you know, Ooh. because uh, I remember I saw a small boy with his coach when I was like seven or something. You know, eight. Yes. So, uh, when when I told the the coach, I went and. Tell the coach, ask, ask the coach whether uh, this boy is a boxer. You know, because I saw a small gloves, a small uh, boxing shoe yeah. on the shoulder of the coach. Oh, the coach. Yes. And when I saw the size of the uh, boxing shoe, you know, I can tell that these boxing shoes belong to this small boy. boy yeah. So I, I, I went to the coach and I asked him, is this boy a boxer? And he said yes. So this will be in Mount Proby or where? In uh, Timah Market. Ah, 
No. Yes. Yes, but not in the uh, the, the area, area. You know, it's just walking distance. Okay. You know. okay. So I ask him, is this, is this boy a boxer? And he said yes. But I look at the size. I say, but I can beat him. <laughs> you know. And was he, he your age mate? Yeah, I, I'm. I think I'm older. I'm older than him, like one year or something. You know. So I say, oh, I, I can beat him. And the coach said no. And I said, okay, then let's fight. You know. And he said, no, I should come to the gym. So we went to the gym. Uh, and then when, when I got to the gym, I, I saw the coach and him there. And I said, coach, I'm here. And the coach said, who are you? I said, oh, I'm the one who said I'll beat your boy. And then, oh, yeah, 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 OK, OK, OK. And then we, he put on the gloves for us, and we start fighting. Just yeah. like that? Just like that. But in the gym, we start fighting. And what happened? The way the guy beat me, I don't want to talk about that. You know. He beat me so bad that, I, I, and, and, and the sad thing is that before, when I'm going, I call my friends. I call two friends, say, let's go, we go to go fight. You know how the uh, area people are. Yeah. So we, we went, and then the way the guy beat me, after the fight, when we are coming home, nobody was talking. Sorry. And I'm saying to myself, child, he, I've disgraced, I've disgraced myself, I've disgraced oh, my man. people, you know. <laughs> so, so I went home and I, I was sick, I, was, I, I, went, I went to my small place, sat down and thinking about ah, the mistakes that I, I made. Yeah. You know, I said, ah, I did a lot of mistakes. You know, I'm supposed to do this, I'm supposed to do this. Ah, okay, that's why the guy hit me here. That, okay, no, I'll go again. You know, to the same place. To the same place I'll go again. So by this time, I left my friends. I want to take the dis disgrace alone. You didn't have any problems. No. Uh, uh, mm. uh, so we, I went again, and I fought the guy again. The guy beat me again, but he didn't beat me like yesterday. You mean the beating was? Also, was uh, you know. I can't help <laughs> Wow. But tell me. Why were you so confident that you could beat the guy? Were you doing some area fights when no, you were young? No, no, no. So Me, from you from my infancy, I don't like trouble, you know. But you see, you're not fighting in the area. No, I don't fight in the area. But the thing is, see, I always say that God gave everybody a talent, you know. So if you can see your talent and go to uh, everything, will be successful, you know. So. Uh, but before, before I saw the boy and I was talking, my, my father took me, my father loved boxing so much. Oh, okay. You know, and he, 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 was he a boxer? Uh, he wanted to be a boxer, but my grandfather didn't allow him to be a boxer. Wow. You know, so uh, he'd been going to uh, boxing matches. That's why he took, one day he took me to a boxing match and I saw two small boy fighting. You know, like that, Ketty Razor? Yeah, yeah, yes, you know. So two small boys fighting, and after the fight, you know, I feel like one have cheated the other one, you know. So I told my father to take me to the ring. I want to fight the the winner. Then, then, and then the, I was that time. I think I was about five, six years or something. Mm. You know, I see. I, I want to fight the guy. Uh, uh, I don't like the way he he he, he, he did to you the boy. The uh, uh, so. Uh, my father said, okay, I'll take you, I'll take you. But before I realized we are home, you know. So I always tell him, my father, take me to somewhere I want to fight. You know, I want to fight. So one day, then one day I went to my uh, uh, mother's uh, family house at Tema Market. Yeah. That's where I saw them. I saw the man and the boy, you know. And then so I approached them and they said, yeah. So that's why we started, you know going to the gym you know and then uh, so the third time we went to the gym you know i i i realized that this fight was draw you know he beat me twice and the third one because i'm the one judging myself you know yes so if you beat me i know you beat me if i lose i know i lose so he beat me twice and the third one will be draw well the third one was draw and then the the fourth one 
yeah, that I took over the title there. Mm -hmm. you know? So uh, I start. We start training. So I start. We start training, and then uh, I think the the coach name was. Uh, 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 what was the name of my coach? Oh, I, I remember it. Uh, uh, so this is the man who had a young boy. Yes. Training the young boy. Yes. So you ended up adopting him as your coach yes. as well. Yes. 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 And it's not, it's not perfect coach. Oh yeah. Yes. So uh, uh, one coach called Atuko Krote. Yeah. He was a good boxer. This and is the person you are talking about? No, no, okay. no, no, no. So uh, he was he was transferred to uh, Kumasi. So when he came back, he came and opened a gym called Akotoku Academy. Akotoku Academy. Uh, yes, uh, yes. So uh, my Akotoku Academy. Where, where was that located? Oh. Uh, what was what, what, what was this name? Uh, London Market. Yeah, you know, London when market. if you are going to London Market. From the uh -huh. uh -huh. coming to Accra. Yes. Right side. Yes. London yes. Market yes. is yes. been decimated. There's nothing there anymore. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. So you used to go to Akutoku Academy. Yeah. So at this point, you had accepted that you wanted to be a boxer. Is that correct? Uh, yes. 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 Apart yeah. from boxing, was there anything you wanted to do? You know, my fa my father is a tailor. He's old, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, we all learn how, learn how to. Mm -hmm. So you know. So you could make clothes. Yes, I could make clothes. You, you know. still, you can still do it. Ah, uh, yes, but uh, but uh, 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 I. But the talent is there. The talent, and yes. You are trained to do it. Yes. Yeah, wow. You know. So, um, we, we, so when I was fighting, when I was training, training my yeah. father was encouraging me. You yes. know, and he gave me because uh, he's supposed to fight, like I said. You know, yeah, but he didn't uh, get the opportunity. So when I, when when the opportunity came, you know, he he can sew some shorts for me. Yeah. You know, and put the names on it. You know, he's giving me, he's give me the name Terrible Terror. Yeah. Mighty Warrior. Mighty Warrior. Courageous Terrible. Azuma Ness. Thank you. The, uh, the Lion of Judah. Yeah. You know, he's giving me all these names. And so uh, that used to make your, your my shorts. Yeah, you. my trunks. Yeah. 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 And then you put that thing. There. The names on Terrible it. Terrible Terror. Yeah. I remember that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So you are not buying from their shops? No, no. All these Nike and all these yeah, all are there. Uh, uh, and you are making your own. Uh -huh. but elsewhere in the US, it means that it's, it's custom made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. my, 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 my dad was a very good designer. Wow. Mm -hmm. Because they, they look good. Mm -hmm. I, 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 mm -hmm. I watched a few of your old fights and mm -hmm. I... I, I, mm -hmm. I at that time, we're not so sensitive about yeah. brands and brands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, which year are we talking about when you finally started formal training for boxing? Uh, uh, like, about, uh, I was like, I think I was like, when the, when, when I took it, Crotty came, I think I was like 12, 12 13 there. Uh, mm. And then we start the rare boxing. Wow. You know. So yeah. this must be early seventies. Mm -hmm. Early nineteen seventies. Nineteen seventies, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm here with um, Azuma Zoom Zoom Nelson. We're just trying to walk through his footprints to see how it all happened, how he put it all together and uh, how he emerged as the champion, world champion, um, properly so called. The program is footprint. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll start the proper professional career of Azuma Nelson. Please stay tuned. Welcome back. This is Footprint. I'm Samuel Akamensa, and we are with the professor, Zoom Zoom, Azuma Nelson, Terrible Terror. And um, we are still at 
his boxing gym at the London market. You know, mm-hmm. if you're a guy, you have to say London. So mm-hmm. that would that, yeah, you know. So, so at this point, early 70s, there are about 12, 13 years. Who were some of the people you were meeting at the gym? Were they professional boxers? Um, remember any names? Um, I think. Uh, no, there's no, there's no real names, you know. Okay. Because when he came, he came and started uh, from from scratch, scratch. and and uh, later on that uh, DK poison was given to him to uh, train him, you know. Okay. So, uh, so you used to see DK poison. Yeah, we we oh, that time it's about years later. I'm talking okay. years later, and then. Uh, when DK Poison was he came and trained with him, and we sometimes fight with DK Poison, you know. Yeah. So uh, before he went for the world title, and he, he became a world champion, and he's the first world champion that we have in this country. Yeah. 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 This was in seventy. Uh, seventy. Oh, seventy. Seventy. Uh, yes. Yes. Seventy five. Seventy six. Yes, DK oh. poison. Now, when DK poison won, I'm sure you are very happy. Very, very, because oh. we are sparring with him, you know, and. Uh, so you knew him one on one. Very well. Wow. Mm. But mm. he he is older than you. Yes. 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 He's our senior. Yeah. <laughs> David Kutai Poison. Yes, 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 yes. And he brought the glory to Ghana. Yes, yes. And, 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 and up to now, I go there and, 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 and give him my respect. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. You, you will live long. Mm. You will live long. Mm. Because you know how to honor the people ahead of you. Yes, I do. That's, mm. that's, that's great. Mm. Yeah. So, going on, how long did you have to train before? Started taking on fights. Uh, you know, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a school. Uh, you have to learn different things mm-hmm. and put it together. Right. Then it became it becomes boxing. Okay. You know, so first of all, you have to you have to learn how to stand. We call it standing. And then we have to, you have to know how to pad the punch, how to avoid the punch, how to block the punch. You know, there's, there's a lot of things since like springing and all kind of these things. You have to learn all and put it together. And then you start sparring and see that what the, 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 the teacher taught you, you, uh, you, you whether you, you, you understand or you know. So when you start doing that, or the, the the coach himself will see if you are ready to fight. But you know, and, and as, as as a matter of fact, uh, every Friday we we spy in the gym with our own self, among you know, ourselves. among ourselves. You know, and then then we are learning. Then we are learning. And then gradually we taking the experience too. You know, so uh, it got to a time that uh, we, the, the, we have to fight for uh, individual championship, you know, uh, yes. So uh, that's the first time I have to go out and fight, like uh, from outside the gym. Yeah. To, to, to How old were you, remember? Uh, I, I was about 16 or something, okay. something. You know, and, and, and going outside of that place, where did you go? Oh, it's like a national festival. Uh, yes, uh, 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 all the all the all the sports uh, comes together from all the regions. Uh, uh, they comes together, you know, and then the boxers are here, the footballers are here, the hockey uh, players, all the all the sports uh, disciplines. Around. So this will be at the Accra Sports Stadium. Yes. So we have to travel out yeah. of Accra. No, Accra, 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 Accra. So, and my first fight, I fought one guy, and I won. And then the second one, I won. And then I think the third one, I have to fight the national champion. You know, because 
for, for those champions, they have a lot of experience. They've been traveling also they fight for the nation, you know. And so uh, my coach was afraid. I think Kote was afraid for me to fight him. So he just asked him. They keep asking, can you fight? Are you, can you fight him? I said, yes, I can fight him. You know, until the time comes that we go into the ring, he's still putting pressure on me that if I can fight, I will, he will stop the fight. I said, I can fight. Then I can fight. And then we, we enter the ring. He said, when you go there, don't stand with him. Just move, move around, move him around. You know, I said, okay. So when the fight started, I just moving around him. And the guy couldn't touch me, you know. All the punches is throwing. I avoid all the punches and I'm punching him, you know. So the first run, we came to the corner and I took a court to ask me, are you tired? I said, no. Can you continue? I said, yes. If you can't continue, I'll stop. I said, no, 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 please. <laughs> yeah. don't, 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 don't stop. I can fight. I said, okay, then. Go and, and do the same thing you, you did in, this, in the first run. I said, okay. Don't go and stand with him. I said, okay. So when, when we start the second round, I just boxing him. You know, the guy couldn't touch me. And the guy feel like, you know, uh, if I stand there, he would knock him out, you know. If I stand there, he would knock him out. And when he threw the punch and I blocked the punch, I can feel the punch that, oh, this is nothing, I can take it. If, you know, I can take the punch, I can stand with you, you know. But my coach at the back there, don't stand with him, don't stand, move, move. <laughs> and, and, I feel like the guy, he want me to stand there and fight, he feel, uh, you know, and, and, and he just, when he's coming, he feel like, because I'm not standing there, he feel like I'm afraid of him, you know, and inside me, I feel, and inside me I'm saying, ah, coach, I have to stand with this guy to prove to him that I'm not afraid of him, you know, but my coach was shouting, no, don't stand there, that, that it got to, like, second round in the, uh, that is three, three minutes, so, Two, I think two minutes, we fought two minutes in the second round. I said, no, I think, I, I watched my coach, I said, let, let, let me fight this guy too, for, to, for me to prove to him that no, 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 he's nobody. And then I stand there, by, by 20, 20, 30 seconds, so I'm I, I, I give him a big cut, you know, and then the referee stopped the fight. And they came and saw, look, go through the cut, the doctor went through the cut, said, no, no, he can't fight again. You know, so he put the tower on its and on his on its head, and then uh, when we stand there, they, they come to give the judgment, like uh, 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 by knockout or by something, something decision. Uh, Azuma Nelson is the winner, and then when they say Azuma Nelson is the winner, I went, I went to him. I said, oh, you have tried. So I've got caught, 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 caught. You small boy, you. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I came, when I came out, my coach was there. He he threw his hand to slap me, and I and I dodged. And I said, "Okay, we 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 go home," yeah. because he told me not to stand, you know. And I I I I, I stand, you know. So I had the punishment there. Small when after the fight we were home. Wow. Even yeah. though you won. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So mm. so that would be your first proper fight. That's me. Do you remember the name of this guy though? Uh, yes, uh, I can. I fought three of them. Okay. Mm. Uh, I but did, did they later on go into professional boxing at any level? Proper? Uh, yes, the 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 the. the the two of them, but the other one that I gave him a cut, he's, he's a, he was a military, military man. Guy, okay. Yeah, you know. Yes. So he will first use military yeah, career. career. Yeah, But the rest turned professional, but they did their best there. Wow. Uh. So then, eight, 17, 18 years, mm. then you started proper. Yeah. Mm. 79, uh, thereabouts. Yeah. Or 78. 78. 78. Uh, yeah, 78. Uh, I was in the 
they called me to the national team. I think seventy-seven. Seven, that, uh, yes. uh, yeah, you know. So uh, that's the time we went to uh, Commonwealth Games and Afghan Games. All and Afghan games. All yeah. Afghan yeah. games. Yeah. Nineteen seventy-eight. Uh, Nineteen seventy-eight. The, the, the All Afghan Games at the time. Where was it held? Uh, I think Algeria. Algeria. Or something. Yes, I think mm -hmm. Algeria. And then the Commonwealth Games at. Uh, Canada, uh, yeah. mm, mm. Edmonton or something. Edmonton in Canada. Okay. Yeah. And how did you how did you fare with the first of all all Africa game? I think that that one came first. Yes. Uh, yes. You won. You won. Right? I, I'm just I'm just sweeping them out. <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, if if I get to do, you know, I I remember uh, one Nigerian. He was uh, bantamweight. He was a he was a bantamweight, and he's a tough guy. You know, he beat everybody. We met, and he was I was a flyweight then. Before I met him again another time, I moved up twice, from a flyweight to bantamweight to featherweight. You know, and he was the featherweight. He was a featherweight champion. A champion. So uh, when he saw me, uh, he said, "Hey, small." They say you are you are you are you are featherweight. I say I say hey, can you fight the featherweight? I say well we see, you know, yeah because it's a featherweight and they think oh, I say oh, no what well, we see. So he's beating his people and I'm beating my people, you know, until we crash at the uh, seven finals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is at the Edmonton World Games. Yes. Mm -hmm. We we cr we crash at the uh, seven finals, and then after the weigh-in, they said, "Charlie, so, oh, small, can you fight the feather?" Feather, I said, "Well, we'll see." Then, so and uh, so when the fight started, you know, he thought he got uh, some easy fight, <laughs> <laughs> and he couldn't touch me. You know, Ooh. I just punch him, and then he's just following me. He think he can get me on the corner, and so I, he couldn't get me on the corner. Well, well, I'll, I'll punch him from here to the corner. When we got to the corner, then I stand there. Then when he threw, then I dodge the punch. I turn him. Then I start beating him up to the to the next, next corner. You know, and then I beat this guy. Up and uh, uh, I beat him so much that now he start throwing foolish punches. You know, and when you start throwing footage punches, then, then you can't you can't touch him crowd because boxing you don't have to be annoyed. You know, he was annoyed, you know, just how can how can small boy beat me like that, you know, and so uh, we finished the fight and I won the fight and I told him uh, Small man, <laughs> and he wasn't—he wasn't happy. He wasn't happy because, uh, like, uh, what do you want to say? <laughs> so you won a gold. Yes. Yes. At the first Commonwealth Games, games that you went. Attended. Yes. Mm. Um, so this was in seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Yes. Mm. After seventy-eight, you came back and then started all these boxing bouts. Yes, I, 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 I won the amateur. You know, I was I became the national champion, uh, and, and then uh, I went to the uh, uh, I went to one game like West African Games or African Games or so, no, no West African Games something, and the I beat the guy. They didn't the give one it. Sierra Leone. I think so. Mm -hmm. I beat the guy, and they didn't give it to me. So. My people were not happy, and me myself, I'm happy because that time I was uh, bantam weight and I couldn't make the weight. You know, and I'm asking myself if, if I want, I can make the weight next move, but it's okay. So I lost the fight there, and the people were so annoying. Why should they, they judge the fight like that? But me, well, me I'm, I'm, I'm happy, you, were your you, you know. So. After the f after that, we went to the African Games, and I took the the, the gold. Then uh, we went to Commonwealth Games, and I took the gold. And then uh, the mil the military games, yeah. I went to military uh, world military games, and I took the gold. And then you went as as a military person. 
there's a one guy in America called Tony Santana. And every two years they go to these uh, games, these world, world military games, he beat the people, you know, and then he, he, he become good medalist. Mm -hmm. And they found out that, Charlie, I can, I can beat him. You know. So they came and told me that, Charlie, uh, come and join the army. Oh, for, okay. for because of this guy. So you were added to the army? Uh, so I added to the army and then we start training. Mm. So, so at this time, I will, I suppose it will be the late 70s mm. into the 80s, into right? The, yeah. So I'm not going to matter if he was there. Uh, I think so, but. You don't I can, remember I can, him? I don't from remember, that remember yeah. I don't remember him from that. It's, uh, President. Late President Rollins, that uh, I remember more. Mm. He, he was a boxer himself. Yeah, he like like he, he loved to you know he's a, he's a tough guy you know <laughs> he, he's no boxer but he's a tough guy you know uh -huh. uh, you know and they used to hang around the boxing area. Yeah, he was our uh, manager one 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 time ago. Oh, okay. Mm, mm, While he was in the Air Force. Uh, uh, yes, yes, in that much yeah. yeah. At that time, he wasn't head of state, I mean. He, he wasn't. Uh, that's the time he was planning for. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. Then soon he, he took over. Uh, it, it, was, it wasn't long when he took over. Yeah, of course. Uh, 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 uh. You know, I remember you fought a guy called Billy Kwame. Yes, yes, I think, I think that's my first professional fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Billy Kwame. Because um, the father was it the father was Freeman Kwame. No, no, no. There was no. a Freeman Kwame who was also a boxer. Yeah, Freeman Kwame. But uh, he was ahead of we are. Oh, we are the same. We are we are almost the same. But uh, uh, I think he stopped. Yes. Uh, on the way from. Uh, he stopped on the way. He fought and he went to he went outside and then fought small. But this is Freeman Kwame, right? Freeman Kwame, yes. Uh, oh, so he's not related to being Kwame? No. Oh, no, okay. No. Why did I think that? Uh, 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 so, so after Billy Kwame, then the professional started? No, Billy Kwame was the professional. Okay. It was professional fight. You know, my first fight, I think, was Billy Kwame. Uh, I won 10 rounds, you know, and the guy was so tough, you know, and uh, I won that, I won decision, you know, I won on points, and then uh, another person. Was that the one you did at Kaneshi? Uh, Kaneshi, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes, and then the second one came, and then the third one was, uh, I think, Suleshi. Suleshi too? I thought Sule Shitu was a footballer. No, we have a boxer called Sule, Shitu. Sule Shitu, oh, you know. Oh, right. yeah. But he had ah, way no, before, no. Um, is it Henry Sadler? Okay. Henry Sadler, yes. Yes, he's Henry Sadler. Uh, Sule Shitu was a banter with. You know. Oh, okay. But yeah, I was well, a he was quite popular, right? Yes, yes, okay. yes. And uh, uh, we, we, we have a hope that he's, he will be a world champion, but... Uh, on the, uh, along the way, he couldn't, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Then you had um, this guy from Togo, uh, Aziza. Bozo Aziza. Bozo Aziza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you fought yes. in Lome? Yes, I fought in Lome. You know. mm -hmm. How was that? Uh, it was it was it was nice. It was good. You know, when we got to the place, because the the Togolese actually believed that the guy was going to win. The, yes, yes, especially when they see my size yes. and when they see it him. Makes so much yeah. noise about that. Yeah. and that guy be coming to Accra, coming to Ghana, and and beating the boxers like like nobody business. You know, and after he beat you, the the, the, the ambulance and the ambulance is there. <laughs> then um, every time he, he fight, then the, the ambulance will take the, the, the opponent to the hospital. We see people, people. Bozo Aziza, you know, and and he was a lightweight. He's, he's heavier than me, you know. 
helps you. Mm-hmm. You know, what we were kids then, yeah. and this is um, what, um, 80, 81, they're mm-hmm. about. And um, there used to be somebody in the Chinese movies mm-hmm. called Aziza. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so we actually connected the two. We thought that he picked the name from there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because the Togolis, they, they, they mm-hmm. never thought that you could beat that guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they were speaking in French, yes. you know, making noise. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of money from there. Oh, you got money from there? Mm-hmm. Because it must have been big. Mm-hmm. This Bozo Aziza was, uh, like I'm saying, He's been beating everybody. Yes. All the lightweights in Ghana is knocking them out. They take some to hospital, rush them to hospitals. Ah, who kind of this man? Everybody uh, he's been beating you people like 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 nobody business. Like ah. But Zuzu, so, do, do you remember any of those people at the time, the lightweight guys? Do you remember any any of them by name? Uh, uh, if I if I remember, I'll, 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 if I remember, I'll tell you. You know, and you went to because, catch him in Lome. Yes, and I, and I, and I, and, and, and when when they make the fight, when they made the fight, he said, oh, uh, they asked him. We, uh, we went there. They asked him in the press conference that oh, uh, uh, Zuma Nelson, uh, have you heard about Zuma? I said, oh yes, yes, I heard about Zuma Nelson, but uh, uh, he's, he's doing well. But uh, uh, no, uh, it's so. It's, it, 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 it's not. It's not supposed to fight me right now because uh, uh, I'll destroy him. I'll, you know, it's not. It's not yet ready for me. You know, because he will destroy the Ghanaians. Yeah. He think. You know, as I said. What the ambulance is waiting for. Waiting you. for you to. You know. You know. So I said, okay. I told him, okay. Now I've to, I've come to your home. You know, I'm, I've come to your home. I'm coming to beat you here. You know, before I go. And then he said, oh, I'm a small boy, you know, so uh, we should wait for the time. When the time comes, you know, uh, then we'll go to the ring. Ooh. And I told him that uh, I'll knock him out in the mm, 10th uh, round. Mm. And I, 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 I mentioned some round that I'll knock him out. And then when we start the fight, Eighth round, the man couldn't come again. He just didn't. He, he couldn't come again. They they, they carried him and ran away. <laughs> they took him and and, and, and they, ran, they they ran away with him. <laughs> I beat him so bad that <laughs> he, he, they, they they carried him and ran away. He didn't That's want. He, he didn't want to wait till he was that bad. He opted to go. Uh, uh, ran away. That is why that's 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 how I make a lot of money because uh, I, I, I was surpri- I surprised everybody there. So the people giving me money, you know, that, and then oh, then I'm taking the money, I put it in my pocket. Yes, and then, then when I'm going, I'm looking whether somebody has uh, stretch his hand for money. Yes, and <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a very interesting experience. Not long after that, you were in um, California. Mm. This guy called uh, Regrel. Is it Regrel Ruse? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, oh, sorry, Miguel. Miguel. Miguel Ruse. Miguel Ruse or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. also came for his home. He came for his home and uh, no, no. California. The, uh, I, I think I stopped him or something. Yes. Um, mm, mm, for France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That time I was, I, I'm, I'm wild. You know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but you have only just begun. Uh, 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 After that, uh, there was a Brian Roberts. Brian Robert, yes. Was he Ghanaian? Uh, no, uh, but he, we, we fought here. He's from Australia. Okay. Mm, we fought for the Commonwealth title here. Yes. Yes, in Accra Stadium. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 and that one, too, you did your thing. I, I, that one too. I think fourth, fifth, fifth round, round or something. Fifth round, uh, I, I, I told him to go and race. <laughs> in the fifth round, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So by fifth uh, round, you have knocked this guy. Mm, he uh, traveled all the, the way, way from, from Australia. Australia. Uh, 
and the, and the Australians they are tough, right? They are very tough. Mm. 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 Then you had another guy, is it Nigerian Kabiru Akindele? Yeah, Kabiru Akindele. I think I don't know whether we fought twice or something. Mm -hmm. uh, so this uh, is uh, another Commonwealth featherweight title. Mm. 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 Then you went to Zambia. Remember the Zambian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cham Chutoli. Cham Chutoli. He was a very good boxer. Mm. Very good boxer. And uh, even in this country, they, they, they have hope on him that he, he will be a world champion. This time, Rollins had just become head of state again. Mm -hmm. 22 February. Yeah. And you traveled all the way to mm -hmm. Lusaka. Mm -hmm. Lusaka, Zambia. It was your first time there, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's my first time there. Yeah. Well, how was the experience in Zambia? Oh, the the, the yeah, the, the, everything is fine. Everything is fine. They understand. They understand the boxing. You know, they know that uh, when when I got there, I I I, I told them that listen, this is a game. You know, one man's win. You know, so mm -hmm. it's not in it because I want to bring their heart down. You know, <laughs> because what I'm coming to do to their boy, you see. <laughs> if, I, if I don't talk cool I, I, after the fire, I can be in, in trouble. You know? so, uh, I, I make them understood that this is a game. You know, so uh, you can win, I can win. So I mean, when whoever loses or wins, I mean, the better man wins. You know, and uh, so they understood everything. So when I finish him, I guess got down slowly inside my car, run away. <laughs> <laughs> was that at the, at the National Sports Stadium? Uh, By this time, uh, Kenneth Kaunda was still president. Uh, uh, one of the places. Me, I'd, that thing, where we're going to fight doesn't matter to me. Yeah. Yes, where are, where, for the ring. yes, where's the ring? Okay, I mean, come in, let's, let's finish and then, you know. Let's, let come, let me prove that I'm the best. That's all. Then I'm you on my way. You, you, <laughs> you, you are the best. Man. And people, well, for the young people, we are just walking through his footprints. But every win of Azuma Nelson brought a carnival in mm -hmm. all communities in Ghana, regardless of the time. He fights in California, mm -hmm. so say 11. 10 p.m. it will be like 3, 4 a.m. in Ghana and 4 a.m. people are on the streets in their numbers to be late. She jama ah, jama And it was beautiful. Mm. It was so beautiful. Mm. People, there's a name that you need to know called Salvador Sanchez, mm. which is the person mm. Azuma fought. Mm. We want to take a short break come back and deal with this Salvador Sanchez. Mm. This is still Footprints. Samuel Atamens, I'm with the professor, Zoom Zoom Azuma Nelson. We'll be right back. Welcome back. It's Footprints with Sam Atamens. And today I have Azuma Nelson. And um, it's a rare opportunity to have the champ take us through his Footprints. And a lot of things we did not know. We we saw snippets of it on TV back in the day. It was black and white TV. I mean, I talk about black and white TV. You are watching me. You don't. You can't even imagine black and white. TV. <laughs> we mean black and white. Oh, na bomo bomo. You know. And we were we were just crumbling all over the place just to watch Azuma. But Zoom, then. This Salvador Sanchez came on the scene, yeah. you know, and you had to travel to New York, right? Yes, yeah, to New York, yeah. Madison Square Garden. Yeah. And it was news mm. all over the place. Mm. Azuma will be in Madison Square Garden. Mm. Tell me briefly about Madison Square Garden. What was it noted for? Well, it seemed to be very popular with boxing. 
Yeah, I, I think so. When I was going there, I mean, I don't. I, the people are saying, "Oh, medicine is for garden," and you know, uh, it's like uh, some classic place, yeah. you know. The, when 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 you are uh, like when if you are a musician and they say, "Oh, have you played at uh, Medicine Square Garden before?" Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Then you are tough. Yeah. Have you fought in Medicine Square Garden before? Yeah. Oh, then hey, Charlie. Then you you, you, you got right. yeah 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 you have arrived. You know. So, uh, so what were your expectations <laughs> when you are going? No, I I I, I I'm going. I, I, when 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 the, you see before he wanted. This guy was supposed to fight somebody else, and two weeks for the fight, he pulled out. The yeah, opponent yeah. pulled out, yeah. you know, and they need somebody for him, you know, and then... You were, you were given a short notice, yes, if I remember. Yes, yeah. and then in between that two weeks, uh, my manager came to the house and told me that, Charlie, we have a, a wet 30 fight. Can you fight? I say yes. And, and 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 after that, I asked him when, and he said two weeks time. In two weeks time. Mm -hmm. and, and I laughed. I say, and I laughed. And I said, okay, I'll fight. Yes, I can fight. You know. So we took the fight. You know? So we've been training for two, the two weeks. We have to, the two. We have to go straight to. So where uh, were you training for that fight? Which which gym were you training? In America. Oh, you, you, you had moved to America? Right? Yes, yes. Okay. So, we, so, no, I was training here. I was training in my That's house. Okay. Oh, okay, in your house. Yes, in, uh, in so. Mount Ruby, right? No, no, no. Achimata here. Achimata. Oh, okay. Then yeah. you had moved to Achimata. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. So, I, I, I went in between the, the training. Uh, I know I'm not 100% fit, but I know I'll give him a tough fight. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, in between the training, uh, somebody, somebody, um, no, my, my mouthpiece, yeah. in, in between the training, my mouthpiece got missing. And I couldn't find the mouthpiece. So, uh, one guy from London, I think his name is Mickey Dove. He's the one Duncan contact. Duncan contact him, you know, and he contact my your, your my leader. people here. You know. So that fight so, was promoted by Duncan. Uh, yes, yes. So uh, we, when we went to America and we start training, they sent somebody to me for sparring. So after the sparring, the guy went and told. Uh, Sanchez that, and Duncan that Charlie, the guy is tough. No. And, and Sanchez said, oh, African boxers, African, he's an African boy, and I, how, 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 how tough he, he can be, you know. And somebody told Duncan to, and then Duncan, I think Duncan called uh, Mickey Dove and told him that uh, I asked him, why do you brought somebody like like me to fight? And then Mickey Dove said, oh, sorry, it's okay. He knows what he will do. Then two, three days later, that's when my mouthpiece got missing for the, the fight. Three, the, this three days. Got you. Yes. It got missing. Yeah, three days to the fight, uh, two, no, a day to the fight, or two days to the fight, uh, we couldn't find the mouthpiece. So the day for the fight, we have to, in the morning, we have to go and, and, and buy uh, another one. And this one is an amateur one. So when you buy it, you have to put it in the water, and, and you know, hot water, and put it to your mouth to be strong, and a lot of things happen, you know. So uh, in between the fight, I think six rounds, he, he threw some left hook and fall on the mouthpiece because the mouthpiece run like this. And uh, 
the 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 mouth was scissored. You know, it's like we, you cut it with braid. You know, and this <laughs> so uh, and it's hard. So when the when the punch fall on it, and then it gave me a big cut in my mouth, and then and and that time too I was tired. You know, so we just. I'm just managing to finish the fight, you know. But uh, in the 15 rounds, my legs couldn't carry me again. Mm. You know, my legs, all my legs were wobbling, and then I, I, I mean, I'm ti totally tired. You know, and I went down with some punch, and then the referee came in and stopped the fight. And I said, okay, yeah. So that was right. it. Uh, Sanchez story. That was Sanchez uh, story. In 82, right? And uh, in 82. And then, so, I was, I was, I, was, I lost the fight and I said, okay, don't worry. I, I'll be back again, mm -hmm. you know. So, I went back, when, I, when we came back, you know, I, my focus is to fight him again, you yeah. know. And I know that when I fight him again, I will st mm -hmm. stop Finish him, yeah. you know. But, Two weeks later, I heard that they had an accident. Two months later. Two weeks. I uh, know two months. Two months later. Two months yeah. later. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I heard they had an accident. He in died. In New Mexico. Yeah, mm. and he died. And he so died in the accident. And I died that in the was, accident. That was very sad. Yeah, you know. So uh, we went to Mexico. Oh, you hmm. went for the funeral. Yeah, I went for the funeral. That was, that was great. You know, and that uh, was good yeah. So um, now, now the the tattoo was vacant. Yeah. So people, sure. we have been talking to Azuma Nelson, we will bring down the curtain on this episode, we will have another one and it will take us into the real issues of his, the, the real highlights of the boxing career. I mean this Sanchez thing was just to take the boxes and to get him into the real hall of activity. Um, so this has been Footprints, my name is Samuel Atamensa.